Good morning! I am so excited. A few of you have reached out to me and have kind of given me the affirmation that the message was for you today or that the reading and the hanging out is helping you get through things that are going on in your life and so that is exactly why I'm doing this. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Wait, hold on. There's a hair. It was kind of the voices in my head that kept telling me to do this. And I was so resistant because it just seems so crazy and so weird. And not that I am afraid of being weird. Weird is kind of my sweet spot. I don't know. It just felt kind of lame for a while. But the messages that I've got that have been so personal and emotional and that's it. That is exactly it. That's why I was told to do this. So I still think it's kind of weird, but you know what? I'm going to show up every day and do it. If any of you are new, what I'm doing is every day I read a passage out of this book, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo because it's a day book. It's a day by day book and that usually <laughs> makes me think of something and then I just start rambling and sometimes the ramblings are good and sometimes they're just mm. and like yesterday they were kind of heavy. What was interesting about that, you know, I've told that story to very few people, very few people. In editing it, I had to watch myself tell that story and that was that was really, it was interesting. It was cathartic, I'm sure. I'm sure there was healing in that space for me as well. I hope that some of you may have found some connection, that's, that's why I'm here, or some healing in that space because it was weird. But that's why I decided not to cut all of it out is because I felt some healing, whether it was my own or whether it was someone out there watching. I don't know. Anyway, today is September 29th and I have had this headband forever and I've loved it and I've never worn it and so today is the day I wear it. So my family is watching Apocalypto in the next room so if you hear screaming it's not the kids fighting or someone being killed, it's just a movie. Someone being killed in a movie, I guess. Consider or enter. If you try to comprehend air before breathing it, you will die. We can only consider things so long. After a while, all the information, all the options and opinions will begin to weigh us down. After our deeper eyes have seen the situation, all the well-meaning voices telling us what we should or should not do will start to feel like strings we can't cut through. This was poor Hamlet's fate. He overthought his life away. He overconsidered which way to go until he felt stalled and oppressed by just being in the world. It is natural enough to be cautious and thoughtful, especially when faced with important decisions, but often the only way to know what awaits us is to live it. This brings to mind the revelation that came upon a Hindu sage centuries ago. One day, in the middle of their morning prayers, the sage suddenly arose and ushered his students away from the monastery. He rushed about them and shooed them back into life like little ducks, proclaiming, The day is to be experienced, not understood. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you see where this is going? So how many of you get stuck doing that overthinking and over considering? I do. I did that for close to five months in deciding to be here with you. I overthought it. I pushed back against it. I thought of all the reasons it was dumb and ridiculous and why I couldn't do it. I'm shy camera shy. I'm jowly. I'm chubby. I photograph horribly. <laughs> no, seriously. 
I have friends who are beautiful photographers and they're like, oh, you know, you just need someone who really knows how to use their camera. And, and, no, no, you are all beautiful artists with your cameras. And so many times someone would take a picture of me and then like look confused. Like, what are you doing? Like you're doing something weird with your face. I'm not doing something weird with my face. That is just my face. That is how the camera reads my face. So that was part of my not wanting to do this. And the thing that got me to finally do it was that, there's kids yelling in the hallway. The thing that finally got me to do it was that it wasn't about me. It's not about me. It's never been about me. It's always been about someone else. And I don't know who that someone else is. It seems like it's different every day, but that's what it's about. And that got me to finally just say, screw it, I'm doing it. I don't know who's out there who needs to hear this, but I'm just gonna do it. So here we are. Welcome to the party. All right, you ready? Mindful moment. Center yourself while holding a glass of water and an empty cup. Consider the choices that await you while pouring the water from one glass to another. When you tire of the pouring, breathe deeply and drink the water. Now, enter your life. So, here we go again. Here comes the ramblings. My dog is locked in my daughter's room and wants out. But as soon as I let her out, she's going to want right back in. So that noise you're hearing is the dog. Let's talk about the water for a minute. I think that's an awesome idea. So a glass of water, an empty cup. Think about the things that you're considering or overthinking and look at that cup and then pour it into the other cup. Now, here's something else I want you to do. Many of you are probably very familiar with the, it was a scientific study by Dr. Emoto. Are you videoing yet? Yes, I'm videoing right now. I have great kids. Okay, so he's the, he's the man who did the experiment with, I think it started out with, uh, jars of cooked rice first. There was one jar of cooked rice uh, that was cussed at and and disparaged and then there was another cup of rice or a jar of rice and this jar was uh, given positive words and affirmation and love and then there was a third one that was ignored altogether. Now for those of you who have never seen this study, which one do you think did the best because over time, you know, they're going to mold or they're going to decay, things are going to happen. Which one do you think did the best? Obviously the one that had the good words spoken to it. It decayed the least. Which one do you think decayed the most? Hmm? 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 Now I would have thought it was the one that was cussed at and disparaged. It was not. That one did decay and mold and break down a lot, like horribly. The one that decayed the most and molded uh, and did the worst was the one that was ignored altogether. So in addition to pouring, to, to thinking about all the things you're considering or putting off, I want you to speak words of affirmation. Here comes another dog. Mary, what are you doing? Busted. Okay, so I want you to speak words of affirmation into that water that you're about to pour. I want you to tell it how beautiful it is, how lovely it is, how worthwhile it is. I want you to tell it what a great decision maker it is. I want you to thank it for assisting you in making your decisions. I want you to feel compassion for it. And if you don't know how to do that, which is, it's kind of a weird thing, think of someone or something like a pet that you just love, that you just love, love, love unconditionally. And then hold that thought until you 
feel it somewhere in your body. Usually you kind of feel it like around here, you get all warm and fuzzy. And when you finally feel that, I want you to then, with your mind, transfer that feeling to the water, okay? And then after you say all your words of love and affirmation to the water and you transfer it, then I want you to drink it, okay? Drink it. Now, if you did this every day, I think some really exciting stuff would happen. I think some really beautiful changes might happen for you. So, holy crap. Okay, if I'm challenging you to do that, I guess I need to do it, don't I? Uh, okay, crap. Now look what I've gotten myself into. All right, let's do it. You wanna do it? Today is September 29th, October 29th. I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna mark it on my calendar. Let's do it for 30 days. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. Challenge accepted. Hold my root beer. So with that, I will tell you that I love you. For those of you out there that I know, I love you. For those of you that I don't know, you know what? I still love you. I love you because I was drawn to this space to hang out with you. We're connected. We're connected by love. And today, I hope that you move into action on the things you are considering. And today, I hope you know that you are worth everything. You're worth it. Whatever that is to you, whatever that means to you, I don't know. But I know what it means to me. And I, this is my thing, so I get to make the rules, so I tell you that you're worth it. <laughs> okay? That's how that works. Oh, and here I am cracking myself up again. All right. Have a spectacular day. Uh, I hope that you're continuing to intention your way through your day. Uh, just decide. Just decide. It's going to be a kick-ass day. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you.